Welcome everybody, my name is Hannes. I'm a DevOps engineer at Xenit, and today I'm going to talk about Alerta, which is an open source monitoring tool, part of our Alfred Ops monitoring suite that provides a quick overview of monitoring alerts coming from multiple sources on one single screen. Let's start by logging in to Alerta. For this demo, we simulated a database issue which triggered several alerts to appear on our Alerta dashboard. Therefore, we can see three open alerts with three different severities. Critical, error, and warning. Note how each severity has a distinct color and how the alerts are sorted by severity, meaning the alerts with the highest severity, critical, are always shown on top of the board. By clicking on an alert, we can see more details, like for instance, the creation time. Interesting to know when this particular alert was first created and the last receive time. To know if this alert still is still being triggered or not. With this with this information, Alerta can then show the total duration that this alert has been in state open, for example. For example, three hours ago for this alert. When we go to the history tab of this alert, we can also view all the status changes for this alert. When someone, for example, would have performed an action on this alert, this would have changed the alert status. Because in Alerta, we can perform multiple actions on an alert. If we look at the icons on top of this page, we could, for example, acknowledge an alert in case it's a known issue where an engineer is already working on this problem, for instance, and therefore we don't want to see it anymore on the board. That helps to empty the alert board so that we can concentrate on the new alerts that might appear in the future. This was only a short introduction into Alert, and I would like to end this video by pointing out that all of the alerts shown on this alert board are coming from Prometheus. And if you would like to learn more, please watch our video on Prometheus next. Thank you for watching.